Here I have my favourite tins of baked beans. I got a packet of four and it cost me £1.10. But did I get the best deal? I still want the same baked beans, but which gives me the best value for money? Those four cost me £1.10. Let's write that information down. Now I could buy the beans in individual cans for 32p each. There was also a special offer on. I could buy three for 80p. Now, which of these deals is the best value for money? Well, with a calculator, I could work out how much one can of beans costs in each situation. I've already got the middle one, one for 32p, but how much is one can when I can buy four for one pound 10? One pound 10 divided by four is 0 0.275 pounds, which if I multiply it by 100, tells me it's 27.5 pence for one can. Let's have a look at the last one. 80p per can divided by three tells me it's 26.6 recurring pence. I'll call that 26.7 by rounding it to one decimal place. Now I have the price for each can or the price per can, I can see that I should have bought three for 80p because that's only 26.7 pence for one can compared to 32p or 27.5 pence. However, I needed four cans. So actually, maybe it wasn't such a bad deal after all. Let's express the same problem, but in a different way, just like an exam question. One tin weighs 400 grams. The four tins, well, they weigh 1,600 grams or 1.6 kilograms. And three tins of beans for 80p, well, that's 1,200 grams. If this is the question and we're asked which deal is the best value for money, how would we do it? Well, we have to try and make the amounts the same and then compare how much each one is. Now I've noticed that 400 goes into 1200 and 1 1.6 kilograms, well that's the same as 1600 grams, and 400 goes into that too. So let's change each of these to 400 grams. I divide this amount by four because 400 goes into 1.6 kilograms four times. Now I use the calculator to work that out. This one, I'm gonna divide it by three because 400 grams goes into 1200 grams three times. Well, we can see here that I've got the same answers that I did in the first problem. I used a calculator to work these out and actually 1200 grams of beans for 80p was the best value for money. What if I didn't have a calculator? There must be another way. Looking at these weights, I need to think of a number that they all go into. 1,600, 400 and 1,200, they all go into 4,800. If I multiply the first one by three, I get 4.8 kilograms for three pound 30. I get 4.8 kilograms for three pound 84. This one, I need to multiply by four to get my 4.8 kilograms. Now that I have them all at the same weights, I can see that the last one is the best deal. Buying 1200 grams of beans for 80p gives me the best deal. The best value for money.